Hey gorgeous, welcome to my channel. I'm currently in Colombia, so today I'm going to be trying all these different types of exotic fruits. My boyfriend and I went to Minarista Market here in Medellin. I got everything I needed. I haven't tried any of these fruits before, so I'm very excited. Let's get into it. I'm going to try is a carambolo, aka star fruit. So this beautiful star-shaped yellow fruit has a waxy exterior and a juicy interior. It can be eaten as is, skin and all. Let's dig in. Okay. It smells a little bit sweet, but a little bit tart as well. Hard. Use my knife. No. Okay, so it kind of has like a sourness of like a raspberry. It is pretty sweet. It's okay. Really not that bad. I'll probably give this a 3.5 out of 5. On to the next one. Okay, so the next fruit I have here is a pitaya or a dragon fruit. So here in Colombia, I guess they're yellow. I've never actually seen a yellow dragon fruit before. This fruit is considered native to Colombia. Inside, the firm white flesh is flecked with tiny black seeds. The skin easily peels away and the interior can be sliced. I'm really excited for this one, so I'm going to come into it. It's really interesting. It has these leaves that cover the fruit. And that's all it is. It's a little bit sticky. It smells nice. Wichita is a South American plant native to Peru and Colombia. So now that I've peeled that away, I'm just going to give it a slice. I'm nervous for this one. I'm not sure why, but it looks tomato and I really like tomato. So let's dig in. Okay. That is something I've never tasted before. It has a really weird aftertaste but it is very sweet. I'm not sure why it has a kind of like a spicy aftertaste. I wouldn't say spicy, more herbal. But I'll try one. Definitely has a texture of a tomato. I would give this a 2.5 out of 5. Not the best, but super cute. On to the next one. So the next fruit I have here is an ego or higo. Ego is a small green fruit that looks like a cactus and does indeed grow on a cactus. It has a deep orange flesh which is quite watery and bland. This is what mine looks like. Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be orange but it may not be ripe enough. I will try it anyway. Let's start cutting into it. Ooh. Very interesting. I did not expect that. It's like a burnt orange kind of color. I'm dig right into it. I'm just gonna take a small piece. It's really not bad. Again, it has like a 
the soft apple texture. And it is pretty sweet. Mmm, I like this one. It's kind of like a sweeter watermelon. I give this a 4 out of 5. It is really nice actually. It tastes amazing. Mm. So the next fruit I have is one of Colombia's favourites. It's the Lulo. So the outside texture seems to be a bit fuzzy and spiky and it leaves a bit of a residue. The Lulo has a firm translucent interior and pretty seeds. This is too tart to eat alone. Simply scoop out the flesh and blend with ice, lime, water and sugar to make a refreshing drink. So apparently you don't eat this by itself. I will make a juice later, but for now, I'm going to try it raw. So cut into it. Interesting. Very interesting interior there. Mm, it's going to be small. It smells exactly like kiwi fruit. I'm going to give it a scoop. And apparently it's too tight on its own. Here we go. Okay, too tight on its own. But it's not as bad as I thought it was and it kind of tastes like kiwi fruit. So I really like this one, this one's not bad at all. I would give this a 3.5. Out of life. So the next fruit we have here is called Mamon Chijo. Mamon Chijo is somewhat like a cross between a lychee and a lime and it's tangy and a little sweet. They have a tight and thin but rigid layer of skin which are traditionally cracked by the teeth. Okay so since it's cracked by the teeth I may stick with the tradition here. So let's give it a bite. Okay smells bland but as you can see here it peels off real nice and pops out cute so it does look like a light cheek let's give it a bite mm. it has a very interesting texture like gooey almost, not like a lychee. Kind of tastes bland, not very sweet. So I would probably give this a two out of five, just because of the really weird texture. It's really not that nice, but I get the vibe. So yeah, not for me. Moving on. So the next fruit I'm gonna try is called a guanabana, which I've been very excited to try, but a little bit nervous and a little bit scared. Guanabana is a giant green spiky fruit that can weigh up to four kilograms. The white juicy flesh has a weird slimy texture. That doesn't sound intriguing, but let's get into it. Just cut it in half. I guess I'll try that. Uh -huh. That has a really weird texture. It kind of has like a minty aftertaste. I don't know, it's very slimy. It's sweet, it's definitely sweet. Sour. I guess you could make it into a juice or something, but the texture for me is not it. So I probably rate this a three out of five, just because the flavor is cute, but the texture is not. So on to the next one. So the next one I've really been wanting to try. It's called a karuba. So it's kind of like a passion fruit, but it has this banana kind of shape. Karuba looks a little like a small straight banana. The skin is thin and soft and the inside is full of orange seeds. I'm going to give this a go. I'm very excited. So let's cut into it. Wow. That looks amazing. So what I've noticed 
with Colombian fruits is the exterior might be very ugly, but the inside looks amazing. So I'm just going to scoop right into it. Very similar to passion fruit, so. That is sour. Give it another taste. As you can hear, the seeds are very hard. It smells good. Too sour for me, so I'd probably give this a 2.5 out of 5. Disappointing because it was probably one of my favorites that I was excited for. So, but anyway, let's move on. The next fruit we have here is a guajaba or a guava. So, I've actually never had this before, but I've always wanted to try. So, the guajaba looks like a small green pear, but if you cut it open, you find a gorgeous pink interior that is fragrant and firm. There are little hard seeds with the flesh, but they are edible too. Let's cut into it. Wow, so pretty. You wouldn't think so with that exterior, but wow, it smells amazing. It smells sweet and tart. Got my trusty spoon. Let's give it a go. Wow, that texture is like ice cream. Texture is amazing, it's so smooth, but the flavor isn't that sweet. It's a bit bland. But that texture is on point. Mm. So good. So, first time trying this, I give it a 4 out of 5. That was amazing. That texture is unbeatable. Mm. Amazing. So the last fruit we have here is a maracuja. It's one of Colombia's favorite fruits and it's kind of like a passion fruit. So I'm going to cut right into it. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. So the seeds look very bland. I'm going to give it a taste. Mm. Mm. I did not expect that. Oh, that's good. Mm. It has a sweet taste, almost floral. This is probably one of my favorite fruits I've ever had. It's not too overpowering. That is really refreshing. That is amazing. So I guess we saved the best to last. I'd probably give this a 4.5 out of 5. So that's all the fruits I had for today. My favorite was probably the maracuja, the dragon fruit, and the eagle. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and a comment down below. And subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. I had so much fun filming this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!